Stealing Hearts and Minds. Jane was known for stealing hearts. She also liked to collect other Barty parts, but hearts were her hands down favorite. She longed for romance hot as a five alarm fire, a boyfriend so salsa that he was off the Scoville chili pepper scale. Her fruitless search for a boy that swept her off her feet left Jane feeling dead and empty inside. She knew the warm, loving embrace of a custom-made mensch was just what the cardiologist ordered, and since her search for a proper boy born of woman had proven fruitless, the ghoul, or girl, decided to create the perfect boyfriend, bit by bit and piece by piece. It started innocently enough, a stolen glance, a stolen kiss, but soon Jane went from misdemeanor infractions to major felonies, breaking into hospitals and stealing dialysis patients' kidneys, cataract sufferers' eyeballs, and tipplers' livers. Her constructive surgery had been slow, but she finally had her golem, her synergistic masterpiece that was far greater than the sum of her stolen and quilted parts. Jane had her mensch, and he was fine as frog fur, a cover that's known to be mighty fine. Having leapfrogged over obstacles, tonight she and her man-made Verde Grinia were stepping out for the first time. She'd selected a romantic French restaurant that featured specialties du toyer, guaranteed to get libidinous juices flowing. The evening began with champagne and oysters on the half shell, and would end with juicy, juicy mangoes, figs, and dark chocolate. Jane ordered quiche Lorraine, while Verde selected Cervant. Verde was perfectly attentive, a boy literally made to order, and dinner was sublime. Dinner was sublime, that is, until the main course arrived. It was then that Verde grunted brains and lopped off the top of Jane's head and devoured her cerveau, proving once again that no matter how charming the zombie, brains are always at the top of his mind.